let me first pray to Lord Ganesh by saying, Anu Bhadra Krutavaryantu Vishwata. Let all good thoughts come Hello. on this day, Bola, kai kai. not only to us, but to everybody who is in this world. And let hmm. everybody be blessed with Lord Ganesha's blessings. Sangeeta, the topic ah, which you have selected that? is very relevant. Yes. Value of values. Let me say, is there a value for values? Can it be purchased? How many rupees, how many dollars, how many things can it be purchased? The answer is no. Values cannot be purchased. So, what is the value of these values? The value is tremendous because it is in our brain, it is in our heart, it is in our behavior. And before we started this talk today, it was said that there are so many glitches, there was disturbance, etc. But you were, you, Yogesh, Prashant, all of you were very patient. And this yeah. patience phase, if you are patient and perseverant, then certainly you can achieve success. किसी ने बर्फ से पूछा, आप इतने ठंडे कैसे हो? बर्फ ने सही जवाब दिया। बर्फ बोले, मेरा आतिश भी पानी, मेरा भविष्य भी पानी, तो गर्मी किस बात की? Why should I get angry? मेरा आतिश भी पानी, मेरा भविष्य भी पानी। and this is what is patience and perseverance. We should be having ice on our head whenever we are in trouble. We should have sugar on our tongue. And we should continue to pass by all the problems and the various difficulties that we have. There are unsurmountable difficulties. Today are the days when we are surrounded by the COVID. 19, which is a pandemic. It's not going to recede. It has not receded. But tremendous efforts by everybody. And first of all, we must appreciate their patience, perseverance, their courage and conviction, their devotion and dedication, not only of the doctors, the nurses, the lab technicians, the workers, and the warriors and the various people who are guiding us, particularly our chief minister and his various ministers who are doing human service to our country. And I'm sure with all their efforts, we will definitely succeed and win over this Corona war. So the war room is already set up and the war room is functioning well. Sangeeta, uh, let me start with what is the value which I respect most. It is the honesty and integrity. It is the commitment and the loyalty. It is the empathy. And these values go in our life so that not only our life becomes worth living, but everybody's life becomes worth living. So that is why values have a tremendous method of doing things very well. Um, you are imparting good education and education is learning to be, learning to do, learning to know and learning to live together. So according to me, all these things are important, but learning to live together is most important. So this living together, I respect quite a lot, whether it is a family, whether it is a college, whether it is the management, whether it is the various people who are working in the college surroundings, everybody must talk in one voice and everybody must be together. And that is what yeah. education means. Education is a word derived from educare. It's care and compassion. So that is why you are doing human <laughs> service to the society. And I, I appreciate that. Let me come to the subject which you have given me. The subject is vast. You can talk for hours together. But that's not me. I don't talk much. 
I yeah. talk very little. Yes. And, uh, because I know that the span of listening is only maximum is about 30 minutes. Though our lecture is 45 minutes, but the span of listening, listening intently, making notes, memorizing it, grasping it well is only 30. So I will finish my talk in about 30 minutes. Well, learning has to have a smart approach. What is this smart approach? We must have smart goals, as it is said. And smart goals are S for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for relevant, and T is time bound. So we must be time bound, totally time bound. Smart goals are very important. If you have to win, you have to have a smart goal. And these goals to be achieved, how do you achieve a goal? Not by postponing your work. In medical language, the, when the appendix is swollen, it is called appendicitis. When gallbladder is swollen, we call it cholecystitis. So itis is a word which is used for inflammation. And many of our students, or in, in many one of us, also suffer from this itis, that is postponeitis. If I have to give a lecture, <laughs> I will postpone it till the last day. And then yeah. start working, finding out references, etc. Yeah. And my sincere urge to the students, never suffer from this disease of postponeitis. <laughs> your examination is scheduled, in June, work hard right from January. Yeah. So never bunk a lecture, listen to it. You may feel that this teacher is not so good. No information is being given. It is never so. The teacher is doing her or his best, but it is up to us to write the notes, to edit the notes, to memorize the notes, and then say that yes, this teacher has given us something new, which I have not learned from the books or from the video films. The education system is now changing very fast. From Gurukul, we have gone to Cyberkul. And Gurukul was a human, human touch, a human contact, a sensitiveness, courage, conviction, loyalty, devotion, dedication, empathy, all these things were learned in Gurukul. What happens in Cyberkul? Cyberkul is very fast. We have the distance education, we have e-learning, we have Skype learning, we have videos, we have several things. But where is the human touch? Everything is fine. I can see Sangeeta very well. But if Sangeeta has prepared modaks for Lord Ganesh, I cannot eat them from their distance. So distance education is fine. You can talk amongst each other, but you cannot taste. If Sangeeta makes Belpuri, which I like very much, though it is a junk food, <laughs> but sometimes junk food is also not bad. Yes. It's tasty. Yes. So that is why. The cyber pool is good, no doubt. Is the need of the day because because of COVID we are not able to we are under lockdown we are not able to move the schools are not opening the colleges are not opening so everything is distance education everything is e learning but that is also very enjoyable so this is the value accept adapt adjust so we have adjusted to the various other things which have been because of the COVID pandemic. And I appreciate the efforts of all the colleges, all the schools who have started this distance learning and utilized every moment of their life, particularly for learning and progressing. I must also say something about success. Every one of us wants to be successful, but success doesn't come just like that, if you don't work hard. 
So success and dignity needs hard work. Not only hard work, good luck also. You have to have been lucky to be successful. I must also say that success is not coming to you unless and until you go through difficulties, go through adversities. I must give you my own example. I am myself a pediatric surgeon and was practicing for 35 years. And then I felt in order to be more useful to these little children, I must go in administration. Because ultimately, yeah. it is the principal of the college or the school which matters because he takes he or she takes decisions. And these decisions are going to be helpful to everybody, to the students, to the children, and everyone. So I applied for becoming an administrator, that is the dean of a medical college, and the superintendent of a hospital. Believe me when I say so. I failed that time. I couldn't get that get that job. I felt bad. I didn't cry, but I felt, why is it that I have not been successful? Because I don't have a godmother. I don't have a godfather. This is what I felt. I'm also a human being, so I felt that. But then I sat down and introspected. And I said, what were the questions that I could not answer? And the questions were, doctor, what is poor? that time, I didn't know that word. Doctor, yeah. what is CPM? I didn't know that also. I couldn't answer that. So I said, no, let me find out what is PERT and what is CPM. And when it was told to me, PERT is performance evaluation review technique. What is CPM? CPM is critical path method. So I said, I'm myself practicing all that. But I didn't know mm -hmm. that absolute word that is word. Yeah. So I said, am I lacking somewhere? I'm lacking in the administrative language. Though I'm practicing it, but the language is not there. So in those days, in Mumbai, there were no colleges which could train us in administration, hospital administration mainly. So then I went to Delhi. I took about six weeks tuitions in Delhi, came back, and by that time, the post in another hospital was advertised. So I applied for that post, and I got it. Had it been that I was depressed, I was agitated, mm -hmm. I was not going to function, I will never apply, I would have not got it. And mm -hmm. that was a lucky landmark in my life. Because from San Hospital as a dean, I became a vice chancellor. Little did I know about the various faculties, commerce, arts, science. Yeah. Science I knew, but all the other faculties, which were large faculties, the medical faculty was a tiny faculty at that time. Now it has improved and changed. But when I became a vice chancellor, what I did, that Though I'm coming from a small faculty, I must have my province chancellor with me, who is knowledgeable about art, science, commerce, and everything, because he was a principal of Bigla College. And I took the help of a commerce faculty person, that is Dr. Welling, and um, he was made the BCOD director. Both these people helped me a lot, and I clean forgot that I'm a medical doctor. Because I was well versed with engineering, I was well versed with yes. arts, science, commerce, all faculties. So this is how you progress. And I feel one value which I respect most is that even if you don't know something, take help of people. Taking help of people is the one which is going to help you tremendously. Today, I'm 81 years old. But do I know this technology? I don't know this technology at all. Yeah. <laughs> but there is a granddaughter of mine who helps me in these technological advances. I take her help. I don't feel sorry that I have to take the help of an 18-year-old girl. <laughs> so 
this is how I feel that these are the values. We must respect the people who are good in their field and take their help and progress. If you have to progress, you have got to take help. Another thing of values is that they cannot be purchased. They have to be invited. And they have to be taken into our own heart and our own brain. Then only the education is value-based education. So ultimately, what is value-based education is ethics. It is ethical education. In, a, in Marathi and Sanskrit, there is a word called Samskar. What is Samskar? Is there a parallel word in English for Samskar? According to me, no. Somebody can suggest to me, maybe the youngsters may suggest to me the word which is <laughs> parallel in English for Samskar. Because Samskar is ethics, morals, everything together, values, everything together is Samskar. So this Samskar is taught to us by whom? taught to us by our parents, grandparents, teachers. But how the teacher should be? I'll give you one example. The class was going on and a girl entered the class and she said, Sir, today I found a bag full of 10,000 rupees. Somebody had forgotten it in the rickshaw. I have brought this bag and I'm going to give it to the principal. So the teacher asked the students, the other students, they said, she's a foolish girl. She should have kept it with her. If somebody has forgotten, that person must be punished. So why, does, why is she giving it to the principal? The teacher did not say anything at all. And the teacher said, all right, this is what you feel. All the students except this girl said that. So they said, all right. The principal knew what is happening. And the principal called the teacher. And he said, you are supposed to inculcate values. In the, so what this little girl did, you, you should have appreciated. What those other 30 students did is not right. Punishment, yes, if somebody has forgotten, but inadvertently if the person has forgotten, he cannot be punished. And what the girl did was absolutely right. So he honored that girl in front of all students and they had to clap. These are the values. So the values, the little girl knew, but the students didn't know. Of course, the another aspect of it is that uh, what they felt was if somebody is not right, he should be punished. So both ways it is right. Now it is for our students who are listening just now to give me a feedback. Who was right? Was this girl right? Or were the other 30 students right? So this is how the values have to be. They cannot be measured. There is no measure for a value. But they have to be inculcated in you. And what you feel honestly you must do. So the girl felt honestly that she should return to the person and she wisely gave it to the principal to return it to somebody. So this is how the things go. Another thing, another point which I wish to express is that never get frustrated. If there are problems, if there are difficulties, if you are not going to make what you should have made, you can still make it. Life is long, so you can still make it. There was a person in US who lost the first election of senatorial election. Then he was hardly 21 years old. When he was 22, he started a business because he had lost the election. He started a business. His business didn't continue at all because there was a lot of loss in the business. He again fought an election of the Senate. He again lost. And then after that, he lost his sweetheart because she died of cancer. 
later on he again started business and the business didn't flourish he again went in for election as a vice president and he lost he couldn't be the vice president again he contested for a senatorial election and he lost that election also but at the age of 52 he became the nominated president of us and who was it anybody knows of course there is no dialogue between me and the students but he is the one who was one of the persons it's a success story and he was the president abraham lick abraham lick so how many times he was devastated and he actually one one time he said why is god so unkind to me but when he became a president he said no god is very kind this is how things go these are the values so these values you have to inculcate you have to do it yourself listen to the stories read these stories nothing comes on a silver platter to you you have to work hard you have got to do hard work first do have smart goals have faith fight and finish the game this is what is the success story so if you have faith in god or if you have faith in your teacher if you have faith in your principal if you have faith in your friend the second one is credibility the credibility is extremely important commitment is the third one which is very important loyalty empathy commitment humility a kind smile on your face a proper instruction given by you to your students is important honesty integrity courage conviction courage you must have unless and until you have courage money comes last because in sanskrit it is said yasyasti vittam sanar kuli sapanditasya shrutivan gunatya saiva vakta satadarshaniya sarve guna kanchana vashraya if you have money, then you are handsome, you are very good, you are well dressed, you are very knowledgeable, though you may not be knowledgeable, but because you have money, you are said that you are very knowledgeable. So when you were talking about me, saying that good speaker, I don't have money, but still Sangeeta <laughs> appreciates me. And if a woman appreciates another woman, it is from the yes. bottom of the heart. Absolutely. So thank you very much, Sangeeta, for appreciating me. And this is the value which I respect most. Appreciation of another person is from the bottom of the heart. So continue to do that. Continue to smile. Continue to give all that you have to the people who need it. And those who are in need must be respected. You talk very highly about Sumantai. Yes. And I have a very strong desire to meet her sometime. Definitely. So, Definitely. so maybe sometime. And this is the most valuable lesson that I have learned. That I must meet people who are doing excellent work, particularly for, I'm not saying downtrodden, but those who are needy. And your Vedanta Foundation is doing such work with all three people whom I saw just now, Prashant. Who else is it? Yogesh. Yogesh. Yogesh and Praveen. And Praveen. All of them are doing excellent work. Though there were disturbances, they made it very well. And I could really talk for half an hour. Yeah. So let me now, looking at the time, let me say thank you very much for inviting me for this very, very valuable speech which you have given to us and uh, let me end up with a small story of what is a human approach and what is it happening now the story is of a daughter called Melinda he, her father was working in his master's wise 
because at that time there were no videos the only thing available was a phonograph so he was working in a gym it was melinda's birthday and the father came home and gave her a record which was full of stories there were about 18 20 stories because whenever the father came home melinda would go to him and see that papa tell me a story and papa was very tired by the time he came back home to tell the story so he got this novel idea of recording all the stories in a record and he gave him gave her as a gift on her birthday the next day he came happily saying that now melinda must be happy because she must have listened to the stories but melinda again went to him embraced him and he said and she said papa tell me a story i said melinda yesterday i have given you a big record full of stories did you not listen to it so she said yes papa i did listen to it but i could not put my head on your lap and you could not really give me pat on the back so that is human touch that human touch mm-hmm. is now fast disappearing everybody is talking on mobile phone everybody is talking in their ipad and everybody is talking on various other things which are available but where is the human touch it has gone today because of corona we have to wash hands and not even shake hands with each other but soon it will go and we'll get back the human touch back again and the human touch is extremely important the pat on the back in our samskars what do we do we fall at the feet of our elders or we go to the temple and fall at the feet of the god why does that happen it is humility starting you put your head down and worship and say whatever wrong things i have done please forgive me so forgiveness is another quality sangeeta may i thank you from the bottom of the heart for inviting me and all your colleagues who are here all of them who have come all the way to listen to this talk of the elderly lady thank you very much and all the best to you again i end up with anubhadra kartavo yantu vishvata let all good thoughts come to you let all good things happen to all of you all blessings because there is lot of disturbance all my blessings to all of you do very well thank you very much thank you so much ma'am and yes. i Uh, as i told you earlier also that uh, uh, that that peace that one can see on your face the pleasantness and that smile and the warmth in your voice that makes a lot of difference when you deliver a talk and uh, because of that your talk becomes so engrossing and whenever i have attended right from uh, 96 the first time when i attended your talk i always look forward to listening to you and the, the best thing of your talk is always that uh, you intercept it with small stories and anecdote and uh, now when i started teaching in the management colleges so i was looking into that how to make your teaching more effective and one of them is that you should have story telling in your talk in your lecture <laughs> and i remember about you that you have used it always so well so again today your lecture i was uh, imagining that the same thing every little bit of talk was intercepted with a live example or a story which makes your talk always very very uh, engaging so even though uh, we had this talk virtually uh, i think any of the participants must have felt that the talk is in, uh, virtual because you made it so engaging with your uh, very human and uh, life kind of examples which you shared with everybody 